Hi, today we're going to be using the Boris FX Lens Correction Filter to correct extreme wide-angle footage in Avid Media Composer. BCC Lens Correction is part of the Image Restoration Tools in Boris Continuum Complete 10, and is also available for Adobe Premiere and After Effects, Apple Final Cut Pro X and Motion, Blackmagic Resolve, Fusion, Nuke, Vegas, and Catalyst. The footage we're going to be using today is provided by our friends at Artbeats. As you can see, this first shot is sort of a moderate wide angle, and the straight lines on the edges are starting to curve a little bit. This should be pretty easy to fix. So in the effect palette, we'll go to the Boris Image Restoration Tools and select BCC Lens Correction, and then drop it onto our clip. Even with just the default settings, we can see this has improved a lot, but we can fine tune it a little bit more. The correction slider adjusts how much the effect warps the shot, and this warping will make the curved line straight. You'll notice we scaled up a bit in the default settings, so using the Scale Master slider, we can zoom out a little further and get some of the image back. We don't want to go too far, or we'll see where the image starts to warp at the top and the bottom. If for some reason you need to just distort the horizontal or vertical, the Scale X and Scale Y sliders do just that. Besides the regular sliders, you'll notice the on-screen controls for correction and scale master. Depending on your workflow, these can be a little more intuitive than the sliders, but they really do the same thing. This next shot shows some more extreme warping of straight lines. Now I'm going to apply the effect, and this time we'll practice a little bit with our on-screen controls. First, I'll adjust the correction amount until the columns are straight. And like before, we can use the Scale Master control to widen the shot up a little bit uh, until we see the distortion at the top and bottom. So we'll use the Pan slider to move it down a bit, and it'll cover that little distortion up. And now we'll move it a little bit to the right to center the columns a little better. Now we can straighten out the lines on this next shot pretty quickly. But because of the camera angle, it's also distorted a bit, sort of diagonally up into the sky. So we'll adjust the vertical perspective, and it should look a little more like we're looking at it head on. Changing the vertical perspective revealed the distortion point at the bottom. So we'll use the pan slider to adjust that a little bit. Actually, that looks pretty good. In this last shot, there are a lot of things we can fix. It's warped, off-center, and tilted. We can use BCC Lens Correction to completely correct this. We'll go through the usual initial adjustments we went through on the other clips. But now we're going to add in some adjustments to rotation to level off the building. I see one more improvement we can make. And since we've changed the perspective of this shot quite dramatically, we can use the Lens Center slider to change the center of the warp. We've panned the whole frame over quite a bit, and this will help recenter the image and give us a more realistic perspective. Now I'm going to go back and fine tune a couple settings, and we should be good to go. As with all Boris effects, you can save custom presets for use on other similar clips. This filter comes preloaded with several useful presets, which can be used on things like GoPro cameras, which use very wide lenses and are becoming more and more common. The next time you start Media Composer, all your saved presets will also be available through the effects browser. Here you can quickly try out different looks on a shot without fiddling with any of the sliders. This is even easier than going through the drop-down menu. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I'm Nathan Ryan for Boris Effects and Imagineer Systems.